In this video I'm showing you the technique of uh, scleral trans illumination with uh, the endolite cover with a diaphanoscope. This is a case of an epiretinal uh, membrane, very simple case. And now I'm performing the central vitrectomy, I'm uh, removing the central vitreous and now when I'm reaching the periphery I have to be uh, careful not uh, moving the the instruments crossing the medium line anterior to the vortex veins because otherwise I can touch uh, the lens. So you cannot do it safely uh, in a fake pacing like this one without the scleral depression. Now I'm removing uh, the membrane. I usually peel the membranes prior to perform uh, vitreous saving in order to get a better visualization without less uh, corneal edema and now I'm uh, covering this uh, Bowser Long uh, 25G channel here with this uh, Todorovic uh, illuminated uh, depressor uh, from Vortex Article. This uh, system allows uh, the scleral uh, trans illumination with uh, Bowser Long and Alcon uh, endolites. Uh, the, the, Todorovic's uh, illuminated depressor covers the endolite and uh, provides the, the endolite with uh, rigidity and also increases the, the illumination of the tip of the endolite. So you can perform the depression, the scleral depression with this uh, covered endolite and remove uh, the vitreous. But as you can see, the vitreous visualization is not that good. This technique works better in non-pigmented uh, eyes and very thin scleras and, and choroid. But in Mediterranean patients like this one, the transformation is not that good. But it can be improved. You will see now afterwards that uh, to improve the visualization of the peripheral vitreous, apart from uh, rising the light output over 100%, uh, you can uh, uh, put some uh, triamcinolone into the vitreous cavity to highlight the peripheral vitreous when you are saving and you can see now that the visualization of the peripheral vitreous is much better. So this technique is quite useful and uh, can allow uh, limited uh, peripheral vitrectomy when uh, there is not uh, that much problem in the peripheral uh, retina. If you need a very thorough vitrectomy or anterior halide dissection or walk uh, quite anteriorly a, lo uh, a lot of time, then uh, a proper chandelier uh, placement and normal scleral uh, depression with a normal indentor is, uh, indentator is the, is the norm. Uh, in this case, after I used uh, diamcinolone, there was some particles added into the anterior halide and now I'm removing the anterior halide, but it is not necessary. And uh, we, I'm checking now the the peripheral retina and you can see that the vitreous saving is nice but uh, if I wanted to remove uh, better the peripheral vitreous or find retinal breaks or do endo laser or other things I definitely should use uh, chandelier light because this kind of uh, transillumination allows uh, a limited visualization of the periphery and it is useful and definitely it is an advance as that is something that we should uh, have in the theater but nothing compares to the quality of uh, view provided by the uh, chandelier light.